when you're just starting out, one of the cheapest PAs you can get is the passive speakers with a powered mixer. And quite often, the mixer will just clip into the back of one of the speakers. Guitar cables and speaker cables are different. There's a reason you shouldn't use guitar cables to connect a powered mixer to a speaker. Guitar cables are meant to carry a relatively weak signal from your guitar pickups to an amplifier. Guitar cables also need to keep interference from getting into your signal to prevent noise and hum being picked up. To accomplish this, guitar cables use a small central conductor to carry the low level signal from the guitar to the amp, and an outer shield of twisted or braided wire strands or metal foil to shield the signal from airborne interference. Speaker cables must carry a very strong signal because they're carrying the sound after it's been amplified. Speaker cables need to have large conductors compared to instrument cables. However, because the signal is so much stronger than their outside interference, they don't need to be shielded. So even if they look the same on the outside, the two types of cables are quite different and are not interchangeable. If you use speaker cables to connect your guitar to your amp, you will not be shielded from electrical interference noise. And if you use your instrument cable to plug your power mixer to your speaker, the small conductor inside may not be able to handle the power output and you could blow something up. The downside of using a passive speaker with a powered mixer is it's really hard to expand and add more speakers or add subs. That's where active speakers are really great. You can simply come out of the link out into your sub or into more speakers. If you are going to use an active speaker, you will want a dedicated desk. I have played quieter gigs where I've come straight out of the back of the pedal into the speaker and hadn't used a mixer at all. But that's not quite as versatile. All speakers are different, but just to give you an example of the ones I have, these have two inputs, two volume knobs, and it's also got a link where you can plug the female XLR into the back and then you run the other end to another speaker. A lot of speakers these days take both jack and XLR inputs. Once everything is plugged in and you're ready to turn everything on, make sure your volume is down before you turn your speakers on. Therefore, if anything's coming through, you don't get a horrible big crack through your speakers, which is gonna blow them up. Once you've turned it on, turn your volume up. Generally, I only turn my speakers up about halfway, which gives me a bit of room to move, and I'm not gonna be pushing them too hard because these suckers need to do a lot of gigs. On these speakers, you have a contour, which adds a bit of bass, and you also have a ground lift, just in case you're getting a bit of that hum. 